how to make a professional website using WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own professional website using WordPress for free. So let's get into it. Now, WordPress is a free open house software where you can create a interactive, beautiful and gorgeous website like one of these for a small amount of money or for some tools, it is even available for free. So the tool that we are using today is going to be WordPress.com. So WordPress.com is very easy to use and it enables you to get the full power of WordPress. And the reason that WordPress is so popular is that it allows you a whole new dimension of website building. You can really do a lot with WordPress and it enables you to create an entire new dynamic of website. So to get started, you're going to go on to WordPress.com, not .org. So WordPress.com enables you to apply WordPress.org. So you're going to go on to WordPress.com and you're going to create your account. I have already created my account using my email address. You can use whatever Gmail address that you have to sign up. And once you do that, you're going to click on create site over here. And once you click on create site, you're going to choose the domain name. So let's say I want to create like a fashion store. So I'm going to add fashion hub and now wordpress is going to give you a few domain names so you can see this domain name fashionmiddle.com is recommended and it is free for the first year and then it is going to be 18 dollars per year or if you scroll down you can choose one of the free domain names like fashion hub and a number.wordpress.org so for the purpose of this video we're just going to continue with this and we're going to continue with the free version and now we're going to click on wordpress free and we're going to click on start for free and we are going to start Start developing our website now to get started you are going to choose what kind of website you are looking to create so if you want to write if you want to build or if you want to sell so if you want to uh, create a blog you're going to go with write if you want to just create like a landing page or a page for your representation you can go with build or if you want to sell products you're going to set up your store so let's say I just want to start building and I want to just create a simple page now once you do that you have different themes that you can choose from to start with your WordPress website so you can take a look with all of these themes that are available on WordPress and you can click on the left over here to select what kind of theme you want. So let's say uh, I'm going to skip this for now or let's say if you want to reduce the amount of time that you spend creating your website, then you definitely should go with a theme because this will allow you to easily develop a website and then you can later on change the aesthetic to what you find most pleasing, but this will enable you to get started. Now, let's say I'm going to continue with this kind of template. So I'm going to click on start with Bennett and this is going to start applying the theme onto my preview and then I can start customizing the theme according to my own personal preferences. So I'm just waiting for this theme to load up on my wordpress.org website editor. And once you do that, it is just going to take a couple of seconds to load and once it has loaded you can see on your top you have this plus icon once you click it you have this pop-up menu on your left which will allow you to add different blocks add different patterns to your website so you can add and remove blocks from here and then if you have this section over here this is the edit section and this is the select section so you can edit and select you can choose what kind of cursor you want and then you have your undo and redo buttons and then you have the list view of the items present within your website and now on your right over here you can see over here that you have your settings over here and you can change the template and the blocks of your preview from here as well now you can see i have the header and footer only now i can rename this title so i'm going to add this to full preview because that's what i'm currently looking at I'm going to save it as that. Now, once I have done that, I'm going to start adding my section. So first off, I'm going to add my site title, which could be fashion pub. And then I can write my tag right in front of this. All you need to know about fashion. And now you have this image section. I don't have an image. So what I can do is I can select this section. And whatever section it is, if you don't have any images, you can click on over here and you can click on browse free images and you can use a free image from the web or from pixels.io or .com to apply to your icon. So let's say I'm just going to search for fashion and let's say I want to just use this image. And I can just click this and insert this if you don't have any of your own images or you can just remove this section entirely. So you can select the section and you can click on delete and it will remove the section. Now, 
After that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this over here as well. I'm going to remove these blocks. I'm just going to select the blocks I don't want and click on delete on your keyboard. And this will just delete any of the XX sections that you don't want. Now, I'm going to click on delete. I'm going to instead add a different kind of vibe over here. And I'm going to rename this text. I'm going to add obscure fashion fiesta. Let's say I just want to add this random heading and then you can add whatever description you want. I'm going to remove this section that I don't need. I'm just going to select the section and click on delete and you can just click on the block over here that you want and you can just delete it like so. And below that, I'm going to add the only fashion blog that tells you like it is like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus icon over here. I'm going to click on gallery and I'm going to click on upload. So I don't have any in, in my upload. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on select images. I'm going to go on to pixels free photos and I'm going to search for fashion once more. And I'm going to use another royalty free image. So I'm just going to click on load more over here and I'm going to keep on looking so i'm going to click on load more once more and i'm going to use this image over here so i'm just going to click on the image i want to use and i'm going to click on select and now this image will be inserted just like this now once you do that you can create your navigation panel so what you're going to do is you're going to click on plus and then you can start adding your pages so if you scroll down you have different text sections you have media sections you have design you have widgets as well you also have the themes of your sections and then the embedded forms so if you want to embed your youtube twitter spotify any kind of account onto your wordpress website you can do that and now this is like the basic layout but what i can do over here here is I can start by adding my navigation panel so let's say I want to select my navigation and I want to start creating it so I'm gonna click on over here and now I have changed the navigation menu I'm gonna add link and now you can see I can add a links to my own pages or I can add links to other websites as well that is totally up to your own preference now Let's say uh, I want this to open a new tab and I want this to be the hello world or uncategorized page. And just like that, this is like the menu only. And now I'm going to go back onto my select page and I'm going to go back over here. And this is what it's going to look like for now. And I think this is what I'm going to continue on with, or I should move this over here. I think this is good enough. So once you have finished designing your website, you're just going to click on save and you're going to click on save over here. And now my website is being saved. That is how simple and easy it is. It's going to take a couple of seconds to save your website on WordPress. So I'm just going to open up WordPress once more. And now you can see my website is in the preview version. I'm going to click on the website link over here and I can click on visit site. So you can see this is what my website is currently looking like. This is the navigation menu and this is like the page. So that is as simple and easy it is to create your own professional website using WordPress. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own website with WordPress. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.